Welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll explore the statistics module, which collects and displays information about completed trades. By default, the statistics module is already open. To access it, click on the corresponding tab at the bottom of the main program window. If you don't see it, simply click the statistics button located in the main menu on the home tab and then select the Statistics tab at the bottom. The Statistics module features three distinct modes. Real-time mode. Statistics are collected and updated continuously in real time as you trade. The information is stored and maintained for the current week. History mode. In history mode, you can apply three filters to get statistics on your trading for a specific period of time. To do this, you need to set the start and end dates in the calendar. For a specific account, this is useful. For example, if you want to separate trading results on different exchanges. For a specific trading instrument, you need to select the ticker you are interested in. Replay mode. In this mode, you receive comprehensive trading statistics in the Market Replay Trading Simulator. For example, you might replay an entire week of trading in Market Replay to carefully test how your fixed stop loss and take profit values perform for your E-mini S and P500 futures trading style. The Statistics module provides you with all the necessary and essential information about your trading results, the total number of trades executed for the selected period, the overall result for all trades, the average profit per trade, the maximum drawdown experienced, the maximum relative drawdown, the recovery factor, the profit factor, the number of profitable trades, the total result for all profitable trades, the average result of a single profitable trade, the number of losing trades, the total result for all losing trades, as well as the average result of a single losing trade. Additionally, it provides the number of trading days within the selected period, the number of both profitable and losing days for the same selected period period, as well as the total commission incurred for all trades during the selected period. By the way, in this case, commission data was not initially configured, so it is not taken into account. Let's enable commission calculation in the settings and see how it affects the result of the second test at the end of this video. For now, let's navigate to the Journal tab on the screen. Here you'll find the most detailed statistics on trades. It provides detailed information about the account, instrument, exchange, when, at what price, and with what volume the trade was opened, when, at what price, and with what volume it was closed, as well as the financial result, which includes the price difference between opening and closing, the price difference divided by the price step, and the profit or loss on closed positions in monetary terms. In the comment column, you can write your own personal comment or note. For example, the reason why you opened or closed a trade. On the Equity tab, the platform builds a curve showing the changes in your capital. The following tabs present detailed statistics on all your orders and their execution. Okay, we hope that the column names are clear and easy to understand. If you want to clarify something, check the knowledge base. The link is in the description. What should we pay attention to? The button with the gear icon. Here you can manually add and record a trade to your account. For example, if it was made through another platform, you can also delete all statistical data from ATES platform here, recalculate the statistics, and export the data for further analysis. For example, let's save the statistics to a CSV file. Next, we'll save the price information and upload both files to ChatGPT, asking it to analyze the trading results and the chosen stop loss sizes. In this case, the artificial intelligence indicated that the stop and take profit levels were chosen appropriately. Although ChatGPT suggested that we could slightly reduce the stop loss size, we won't change anything for now, and we'll move on to the market replay simulator to make another attempt. Let's trade for another week. The statistics module provides grounds to believe that the results are stable, which adds confidence in moving to a live account. On the equity curve tab, Two separate lines are now plotted, allowing you to more clearly see the impact of commissions. Well, we hope you now have an understanding of how the statistics module works. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below or contact support. Give us a like and thank you for watching.